another episode of this podcast and we have Javid on the other side. Hey Javid. Hey, hey, how's it going? I'm good, I'm good. How are you doing? Yeah, good, good. Lots of stuff coming out of Apple this week. Really excited yeah, to yeah. see you. It, it is exciting stuff this week. We had the Apple event, of course. We are a man down, unfortunately, again. But hopefully, Ben will be back next week. But we're going to go straight into it. Uh, the Apple event. Uh, Javid, what do you think of the event overall? I mean, what what is your initial impressions of it all? Viewpoints? Uh, viewpoint. the, the event itself, if I'm being perfectly honest, I feel like some of the videos were a bit drawn out i don't know if you felt that same way um very corporate feeling videos to showcase their products but the products themselves honestly everything besides the the new ear pods all look great yeah i i agree i mean to me i just thought maybe they just got you know all the people making the apple tv series to make their videos (laughs) knows? but there were they were long. They they were impressive, but they were long, hmm. and you just kind of thought, just shut up and just get on with it. Um, right. Let's talk about the biggest elephant in the room, which is only just for the US. So for my US listeners, mm-hmm. something for you to understand: no physical SIM card trace locks on any of the new iPhone 14s. Now, before we talk about this, Jabbed, I want to make it clear. We have an iPhone 14 and the Mm. iPhone 14 plus lower end. They call it lower end. It's still pretty pricey, but it doesn't Mm. have all of the funky features. And then we have the uh, iPhone Pro and the Pro Max, similar to the 13, not much difference. Uh, I think the the big addition for me was the iPhone 14 plus because I don't remember there being a plus version before. Uh, no physical SIM card trace slots. Uh, mm-hmm. Javid, what do you think about that? Honestly, it's a good idea, good thought forward, but with the way eSIMs work right now, only being able to have one uh, going at once or have, having one active, I think it's a bit weird. Unless there's something different about the iPhone 14 I don't know about, where you can have multiple active at once, it seems kind of out of left field. Yeah, I guess we have to see the device in action. At the moment, you know, on my iPhone 13 Pro, I have a physical SIM. I used to have an eSIM. I've moved it to a different device. Mm. Uh, I put it back in my foldable, as you know. I'm loving the folding world again. Um, mm. But um, you had two lines at the same time. Now, unless they're saying that you've got two eSIMs that can remain active and you can stack the rest up, you can have four or five lines on one Mm. phone i'm not too sure but uh, a lot of a lot of the listeners might be wondering why do you would go eSIM? and i'm just going to say listen you don't need to print plastic sim cards anymore you don't need to um you don't need to print out qr codes they can be emailed over um i think the big thing for me not that people actually realize this, but when we went from 4G to 5G, and Jabba, you've seen this, you had to have a, a change of SIM from 4G to 5G, even though the SIM looked identical. So maybe it will mitigate that for 6G or 7G or whatever they have in the future, where you don't need to have a special that's, SIM card for a special speed. God knows that's that. That's a good that's, point. Yeah? No, no, you. Uh, I think you've hit the nail on the head. That's a really... Really good point. Yeah, you're future proofing it in a sense, and you're going to be cutting out a, a lot of the waste there. So it is towards the future. We just have to see how they implement it. Yeah, yeah. So that was a big input in the room. But besides that, um, yeah. one weird people, thing that maybe yeah. I sh- I shouldn't have been so impressed by, but you, you mentioned price before. They are pricey, but that's the normal Apple price, and I'm really surprised they haven't increased their prices. Like with everything yeah, going on. Yeah, no, I, I agree with you there. Actually, that's a very good point. It's not something that we spoke about. The pricing wasn't marked up where there was a lot of rumors saying it's going to be pricier. Mm. But at the same token, no offense, Apple charged an arm <laughs> and a leg. I'm sure they can not worry about losing $100 here or there. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're making all their money from their £700 wheels that they sell yeah. for the for the MacBooks. But come on, that's... <laughs> 
<laughs> that is true. I mean, overall, the question is, is it worthwhile upgrading if you have an iPhone 13, iPhone mm. 12, iPhone 11? My honest opinion, and this is my opinion and not anybody else's, is if you've got an iPhone 11, 12, 13, unless you're not in the wilderness, and I'll explain why later, and I think that's about it. Unless you're not in the wilderness, I don't think you need to upgrade. There is an argument to be made, I'd say, about camera, which we can touch on in, in a second as well, I suppose. But yeah, yeah, you know, other than that. Yeah, but but Javid, right? I don't think it'd be funny. And I was on distract rhetoric myself about camera. But who the hell is going to sit there and zoom <laughs> into a phone and be like, oh, this pixel isn't as sharp as <laughs> that pixel, which is sharper on this pixel, but this pixel is just kind of differently. And, uh, and, and another thing, and maybe, I mean, I could be wrong, but this whole thing about, oh, it's more natural to skin color. I, I've mm. not come across one person that's come across to me and said, my skin color looks wrong in this. I'm oh. taking a picture. I, I'm going to be honest. I can't argue with you there. I've, I've never had that issue. But I was thinking more like the, the low light situations that were going over, that kind of thing. That's where we might see the best performance increases. It, it is going to be... I Again, I my, my personal opinion is from the mm. iPhone 11 upwards, I don't think it's it's worth the, worth the update. Mm. I, I honestly don't. Um, that's my opinion. Uh, if you're on an iPhone 10, maybe yeah, it's worthwhile doing doing an upgrade. The the okay, the wilderness thing. Do you want to explain that? Oh, the the satellite tracking. Honestly, um, being able to make emergency calls without having to worry about signal, um, is great. It should be a feature everyone adopts. Um, whether they will is a different matter, but. Yeah, being able to, no, actually, having said that, how many people actually do those kind of activities when you're marketing your phones towards people living in cities and such? I guess it's not on the top of your list, but it's glad to see, I'm glad to see that Apple are including that feature. Well, uh, let me put it this way. What if there was a network outage and you need to get a hold of emergency services? I think that's, that is, that's yeah. the that, that's the only point that so let's say an entire city goes down because electricity goes down they lose all mass mm. someone's in a car accident or something's going on that you could use that now the problem is is you have to kind of put your phone in the air and point it towards a satellite from my understanding mm. could be wrong um, but it is a safety feature and 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 I think and I'll talk about the Apple Watch in a bit I think the um, I think Apple are leading on the safety feature now. I think they had to catch up. Like the car crash detection is something yep. that they've got. Pixel have had that for ages. So it's good to see um, they're taking uh, health and safety in that element a lot more. I mean, they had the fall detection. They got other things. So I, I think the I think the device I think that device is actually helping out in terms of those edge case scenarios and 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 they will happen you know they yeah. people do get involved in accidents or, or things do happen so it's 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 good to see but overall um oh the last thing i want to talk about on the pro models the island um so you have a little pill instead of a hole on the screen which will view which will ruin the view of the videos however the more i look at that pill I've been watching videos on it on YouTube. The more I'm sold on it. Really? Yeah. If you watch the videos, the way how it extends and stretches around that area to give you notification, I think the UI is spot on. Um, oh, yeah. I'll give them that. Yeah. The demos I've seen, it does look really good. It looks really fluid. Um, but your first point, like, will it not annoy you? during general use for, for things other than notifications, videos, anything else? Can I be honest with you? Mm. I have my foldable phone. My Samsung Fold with, with an under-display camera, right? 
It's a mini tablet in my hand, right? I love my foldable game because of it. I can, I, I don't really care about my, to be honest, I don't, okay, so I'm going to say this to everybody listening to me. I don't watch YouTube on my phones, right? On, on my iPhone. I don't have, like, my iPhone has the basic apps and I left it at that, right? I have, I, I, I have nothing else. I'm not going to lie. Like, I can show you, David, there's nothing mm. there. My foldable uh, device where I have all my work emails on, I have all the media stuff purely because when I open up the fold, I can view my content and uh, the videos. Yeah. yeah. So because I've got a device that's a foldable, I can scribble on, I can view media content on like a tablet. My actual personal device or my device that I use for phone, right? For like personal stuff, because I've, like I said, I've got my foldable to do my work stuff on. I don't care. That notch does not bother me because I don't use, but the thing is that the same token, if people got used to the notch, it just means you get to see everything that the top of the notch covered. So they're getting there slowly. I think, I think, I think the way it's going to go is once they perfect under display cameras, it'll be fine. Right. Yeah. So I'm willing enough to wait. I just like how they made most of that pill thing where it extends it has time next to it or a time or stuff i think they were smart about that because people are going to moan about the notch or moan about that pill but the fact that for the first time round they incorporated the pill to do other stuff is cool and i don't mind it because they've actually thought okay we Apple, no, it's an eyesore. It's going to ruin videos. They know that, but they made most of it. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to be hard or harsh to ham to kind of grate on them. If they just had a normal UI where they didn't ex extend that pill to give you a yeah. notification, then I'd be annoyed because then I think that's just a camera whole thing. That's just stupid. I see what you mean. I, I think you're swaying me a little bit. Um, Apple knows best in, in this instance, so we'll, I think, we'll see I think, I think see what it looks like. Just yeah, just just watch the YouTube videos, um, mm. and just see it in action, and then you'll you'll say, okay, do you know what that that makes sense? It's a stopgap. As far as I'm concerned, that pill thing to me is a stopgap until technology improves with under display cameras. That is my personal opinion. Mm. Yeah. Don't know if you agree or don't 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 agree, but I think they did an okay thing with something that everybody everybody's gonna hate on. It's as simple as that. Right, watch. Jabbed, mm, let's talk mm. about the watch. I, I can hear the views... excitement in your voice. Yes, yes, it's the only thing that I'm really excited about is is the watch. But seriously, what what do you make it make of the um let's talk about the original watch watch eight? What do you make of it? The original watch eight. Honestly, I don't see that big of a difference, if I'm being honest. I, I know it's got better tracking and such for, um, what was it, the, the body temperature regulation kind of tracking. That's pretty cool, um, the improvements there. Yeah, but, the, uh, but, but the whole body thing is more aimed for, the temperature thing is more aimed for fertility. Yes. Let's just say it, it, it's more yeah. aimed. So it's a, more, it's a lot more accurate for that. But... Should here comes the question: Should you upgrade from the Apple Watch Three Series Three, four, five, six, seven? Whoops, sorry, that's that's my <laughs> Apple Watch going off. Don't know why. Uh, if you go from the from the three, all the way up to the seven, should you upgrade to the eight? My answer is going to be no. Again, I don't think it's worth it. It's it, that this is the thing. This whole event were uh, they've added a couple very very niche things which th there might be a large market they say like i don't think apple would have made such a big deal out of these things if there wasn't a huge market for this kind of thing so i personally no not, nothing for me to track there but someone out there i'm sure a large group of people out there are, are looking forward to this i'd say yeah no i i, I agree with that statement um i think um I think if you've got an Apple Watch 7 and you're not tracking mm. fertility or stuff like that, don't bother. 
literally do not bother to upgrade. Stick with your series yeah. five, six, seven. Uh, honestly, I, I don't think. I mean, the seven has a bigger display. Maybe, maybe. Do you know what? Instead of getting an eight, just pick up the seven for cheap. Yeah, that that is my advice to everybody out there. Unless you're not, yeah, unless you don't, I don't take care about fertility. But if that's not top of your agenda, then I don't think it's it's there. I mean, the other thing the watch has is the car crash detection, though. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Um, so the watch, like the phone, distinguishes when you're in a car crash. However, my argument to this is that I think car crash technology should be in the car, not the watch. While I agree, I think getting that technology sort of to, to people, so, most no, people wait, drive wait. older cars. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know that. But the Fords already do them, for example. And it's oh, just, right. okay, if, if, it, if it's just a sensor that monitors sound um, and like movement, why can't you just buy a sensor that does the same? Why can't Apple just, create an add-on for a car that you plug into a car rather than a watch or do you know what i mean no, maybe they need to think outside so I, I i think the crash detection is really cool fantastic but my personal opinion is every vehicle or newer vehicle or an add-on should be added to the car physically that will make a phone mm. call out yeah or will it will alert um that's my opinion on that do I think it's worth having it? I, I still don't think it's worth upgrading. But let's talk about the other elephant in the room. Mm. The Apple Watch 8, wait for it, Ultra. 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 It's just like, you know what? It, this Ultra reminds me, you know, I, I, was, I was calling it the Apple Watch 8 Pro, as everybody knows, and then they, out of the blue, they call it an Ultra. And as soon as he said Ultra, for some reason, I just thought about Killer Instinct. <laughs> yeah. Is that what they said during combos? Ultra, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ultra combo. Yeah. Uh, I love that game. I still play it on my Xbox, actually. Oh, um, oh God, it's a great beat em up. If you love fighting games, anybody out there, seriously, play Killer Instinct on a Windows or on a, a Xbox. Brilliant game. Absolutely phenomenal fighting game. Um, I am in love with the Ultra. Even though I said don't upgrade, why do I like the Ultra? Why do you think I like the Ultra, Javid? That's a good point. I haven't asked you why you like the Ultra before. Um, is it just the design? Is it the design that gets you? No, it's not. No? As stupid as it sounds, I think the whole idea that you can get up to 60 hours of battery, low power mm. mode, meaning I don't need to charge. Like the normal watch is what they say, 18 hours. Yeah. The Ultra is 36. So now I can go to my in-laws house and come back over a weekend, long weekend, and I don't need to charge my phone nor my watch. That is what excites me. Battery life. Okay. The battery life is what excites me the most about the, it's silly, I know, but the fact that I don't need to charge devices as often. Heck, I can play my, my playlists off my device and not need to worry about battery. You know, I, I, think, I think for me, I think organization needs to make more effort on how we charge our devices less because it's better for the environment. That is what excites me. Um, and the having a more accurate GPS, because I wear an Apple Watch, uh series five at the moment right and um to have more accurate gps because i've got into running recently um all of that is cool the other reason why i like it is they had a feature on the ultra where it makes a really loud noise when yes. you're in danger right i think that's a great safety feature and i think all of the watches should should have that um, and I'm, I'm sorry for bringing this topic up, but the whole situation that we've had, like for the Sever Everard thing, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Just imagine if um, someone's in danger. Uh, in this case, a female. She could set off the alarm. Of this alarm, it's a great deterrent. 
yeah um because if you're nearby somebody somebody hears that it's going to get their attention so i think um again i'm more leaning towards the whole safety element and personal safety element so that's that's why i'm i'm excited but besides that none of the diving worth... features i can't swim <laughs> so that's not gonna happen <laughs> really um, learn something new today yeah no i'm i basically to cut a long story short this um i had uh my right eardrum had issues with it so i was told that right. i wasn't allowed to sw swim as a kid and i can swim now if i wanted to and i should take classes um mm. but diving i don't know maybe i should put that on my bucket list if it makes you feel better i went on holiday yeah. not too long ago to Russia. i spent yeah. a whole week in the water still can't swim Still oh, wait, you can't swim either. Okay. No, I can't. That's why I was very impressed. <laughs> so a friend oh. that can't swim as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder I want I wonder if Ben can swim. Maybe Ben uh, strikes maybe... me as the type that can swim. Oh, I don't know. Maybe maybe we can throw him throw him in the river or something and see one day. River yep. we'll, we'll test that next week. <laughs> live live on this show, guys. So make sure you tune in next week <laughs> to see if Ben can swim or not. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then okay, the last piece is the AirPods Pro, because I know we're chomping a lot of time. Mm. The second iteration of the AirPods Pro, I was waiting for the second iteration. Jabbed, your views on it? Trash. I, I don't. What improvement did they make? They were bragging about 33% increase the battery life when the battery life is already so poor. I, I'm not very impressed. And to be fair, I've, I've never been a big fan of the AirPods. So that's my bias showing there, but this was not a good improvement at all, in my opinion. Like they really should have added something else to, to really set it apart. Okay, I use the AirPods, right? Mm -hmm. um, I've had it for years now. Uh, it's been sat in my drawer, not sat in my drawer, sat in my drawer, not sat in my drawer. Um, mm. When the first came out, yes, it was amazing. It changed the game. A lot of people took the mick out of how it looks. I still think it looks stupid, but they were good <laughs> for what it was. Yeah. Since that time, and I'm wearing Sony headphones right now, which I think the mics sound amazing. I actually listened back on a Zoom recording once, and it, it was actually quite decent. I think a lot of the features, this adaptive ANC and all of this, blah, blah, malarkey. I think organizations like Samsung, um, Bose, them not doing great, but the one organization that has destroyed, and I think destroyed, and I'm going to say it as it is, audio in terms of headphones and earphones is Sony, right? They tout six hours. My Sony gives me eight, and it's over a year old, yeah? Mm. Uh, their AirPod Pros are good. Their ANCs are decent. But does it beat my Sony heads headphones? No, it doesn't. Um, I I just think that I think Sony have taken the crown in audio. Audio space yeah. right now, including their new TV audio speaker sets and everything. I think Sony Sony's for me right now, and it could change, are the way to go. Uh, the, uh, however, there is one decent thing about the AirPod Pro. There is mm. one thing that I do like about it, and it's the case. Really? What, what's so different about it from the other ones? It has the, um, do you know how, so I've got like these Apple tags in my car, yeah. on my, right? It has an Apple tag feature built in. Right, okay. Right? And because of that, I could probably take the Apple tag out of my backpack put that elsewhere or use the tag elsewhere and use the case of my earphones as my Apple tag in my backpack. Because then I can then trace where it is. I think that is the only thing I like about the new Apple Pro. It's not the sound, it's not the audio, it's the case. Okay, I'll give them that. They've, they've made a good decision there. Maybe that will become more of a standard with everything they do. Time will tell, but yeah, I, I still don't think. I I don't I don't I, yeah. I but if you can if you can buy the case on its own and use your mm. old AirPods in there, I think you're onto a winner. Yeah, that is a good idea. 
I agree with that. Yeah, because they did they they did do that originally for the wireless charging. Actually, it never used to come with a wireless charger, and then they released the case separately where you could put it, charge it up wirelessly. So that's the Apple event in a nutshell. However, the last thing I want to see is if you watch the Apple event video right at the end there was a two second clip where a person was there and then vanishes and i think everybody missed that uh, you're making your face you missed i that. i missed that i did oh right at the so go go back watch the video right at the end the last 30 seconds is a woman stood at the subway and she vanishes like fizzles out suggesting it's a teaser for apple arbr that is my Ooh. new prediction of this podcast that's, that is a great prediction i'm gonna watch it right after this that's that's amazing if it is that that is amazing and, and good catch apple have just done a marvel <laughs> amazing <laughs> Okay, right. So other tech news, we deep dive into Apple stuff a lot this week, but that was going to happen. And uh, right. Can I so, bring something to the table? Of course you can. Of course you can. Yeah. Um, the ZenBook Fold. H- have you had much exposure with that? Have you looked into it? I played around with it. It's blooming oh, right. awful. Oh, oh, okay. I mean, for a, the first of its kind or first of its kind that I know of. It's 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 not first. The, the Lenovo had a folding. I think the better oh. one is the Lenovo X1 fold, the second iteration. The Aces Zen Zen oh, is awful, mate. The keyboard doesn't work. And Windows, I, I'm just gonna call it Windows is not designed for foldable yet. Right. That's it. That's what makes it awful. Windows, it's not designed for foldable design uh, uh, devices. However, Windows was. When they had the Surface Neo, which they canned. I see. Right. So the Surface Duo, which I have here, my other foldable away from the Samsung. Basically, the Surface Neo was the Surface Duo in a bigger size and it would have yep. ran Windows. However, I posted a video the other day, if you saw, yep. somebody's managed to get Windows running on the Surface Duo. As soon as they get it working on the Duo 2, I'm putting Windows on this. Right. So, I mean, I did see it. Seeing someone play Skyrim on their phone was amazing. Yeah. So I, I might join you on that. It's it's all good. Right. News that I missed and I'm seeing now. GeForce RTX GPUs, September 20th. <coughs> amazing. Um right on the corner. Yeah. Oh, my wallet's gonna get destroyed this month. <laughs> I'm so getting the new GPU. If it's as powerful, but there's been rumors I've been reading that the 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 30 series may not be too far off from the 40 series and vice versa. I've I've had the exact same things. Um if it if think... it isn't more powerful than the 30 series, then there's no point. Unless it saves electricity, then I'll be tempted. I I'd be very happily surprised if they did. I think everything's solution nowadays is to throw more power at it. So anything yeah. that will cut back on the electricity bill, I, I'd be happy for it. Yeah, so that that's the big thing. G G Force releasing new uh, graphics cards soon. Um, hey, do you want to speak to this one, Javid? Right. So Razer made a two seater cargo scooter. And for those of you who don't know who Razer are, they make gaming laptops and gaming accessories. Ah, uh, no. Oh, I think there's been a slip. That's Razer with an O. Oh, okay. So this is Razer, the actual scooter brand, which makes a little bit more sense, but it's still a bit bizarre that you'd make a cargo scooter. And it's called Razor. Razor. Okay. Do you know what? I would have been more sold if it was made by the gaming uh, organization. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed now, actually. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Um, There's a new VR camera called the Insta360. Um, I actually have the Insta360 version 2 to make VR videos. Um, it's no different from the last one in terms of how much it outputs. It's just that you've got a bigger screen on it. So is it worth it? Not really. No. But interesting interesting tech, tech to see that VR tech is coming here. Now, this is great. Disney Plus, they promo offers. How much is it for one month? 
two dollars for new and returning subscribers. I mean, it's just for a month. A I mean, why, why, why couldn't they just give it for, for three or four months? That yeah, that would make a lot more sense. Like Xbox offer to give you access to everything for for one pound, one dollar. Like that, mm. that makes sense. Give people three months and they might stick around. One yeah. month and they're not going to get through their shows, which I guess is no. the idea actually. Make, make you stick Could around be. for the Mandalorian. <laughs> Could be. Now I know we spoke about Apple, but what is your views on Tim Cook response to the Android RCS compatibility. What did he say? Uh, so if you want to improve Android texting compatibility, you buy your mom an iPhone. It, it's yeah, correct. You buy your mom an <laughs> iPhone. That is what he said. They have no interest in fixing the green bubble, blue bubble. Do you know what? What's really funny though, people actually give a a lot about green and blue bubbles. Yeah, I didn't realize how much of a big deal it is to people. It is. It is crazy. Uh, it's just a text. It's, like a, but... it's a prestige thing, I'm sure. Um, other cool features. Apple Fitness Plus is coming to iPhone. Uh, now, you might be thinking, what? Basically, the only reason you can get the fitness app is if you had a watch. And this time you can mm. access all of their fitness videos and stuff without a watch. Does Fitness Plus come included with the watch or do you have to pay for it? No, you have to pay for the subscription. So I've got an Apple One account. Uh, I think it's called Apple. I don't know what it's called. But it's because my entire family has an iPhone. So they Mm. all, like my mum likes to read magazines. So she uses it for that. I've got the music. My wife has loads of pictures that I don't understand why she keeps hold of, but she does. No, no, I mean, no. She has photos that are worth holding on to. It's just these random screenshots and stuff. Like, just delete them. Um, but it is... Right. It, I mean, it just takes up takes up space. Um, what else is happening? I think the Apple event has really dominated the week, hasn't it, really? Yeah, I'd, I'd say so. I think everyone would be too scared to announce anything crazy right now. You would get overshadowed by Apple. True, true. However, Xbox, I've, I've just seen this now. Another one. Xbox players can now start a game from a friend's clip or screenshot. Okay. So, I, that, that's pretty cool. So if you see your friend feature. Has, has, a, has a clip of them playing um, playing um, you know FIFA, you can just say, yeah, launch FIFA right there and then. So I, I think that's cool. Yeah. Um, Ring doorbells has end-to-end encryptions to its battery-powered devices. What the hell? Was it not end-to-end encrypted before? No, it definitely... I have a relatively horrifying story where my friend has one in his flat. Yeah. And uh-huh. this was around the time there was a lot of the, these hacking things going on and someone started speaking to him through it and oh, just wow. started calling him names. Like, it, was, it was nothing horrible, but it, just, just calling him stupid and ugly. Like, I, I don't know if it was a kid or something, but it's oh, just it's the silliest thing. Oh, man. Oh, Google Maps. They're bringing um, eco-friendly directions to 40 European countries. Right. Okay, that, that's pretty cool. I like the idea there. Like eco-friendly. how you would waste less electricity or mm. petrol or anything. I think that, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, the Google event is and Google Watch. I forgot Google Watch is coming out. It's not going to be anywhere as good as the uh, Apple Watch. I'm, I'm just going to call it out. Right, I, I honestly think the Google Watch will not be better than the Samsung watches. I would agree, but I also think it's going to be a hell of a lot cheaper. So that's the main difference. I think it looks cheaper and it might look better, right, on around the wrist. But it's going to be, if you want a really basic smartwatch, I think the Google's the way to go. Now, the big winner is, and I hope because Samsung went the wrong way with this I hope Google makes this watch compatible on a uh, on an on an iPhone why not just have a Wear OS app on the iPhone and be able to use a, a Google watch that would actually be yeah that, that would be a great idea because you can with Fitbits and Google have now bought mm. Fitbit so you know, worthwhile, uh, worthwhile looking into. 
Um, we're just scrolling to see if there's anything else that's worth to... Oh, what's this, Jabbered? What is this? Oh, no. Yeah, look. LG brings NFTs to its LED and OLED TVs. But Dorf themselves said it great. Who asked for this? Who who, who did ask for that? I, I, I have no idea. Okay, can you explain what NFTs are to anybody out there who doesn't know what it is? In one word, scam. No, it, it, it's a bit more than, than just a scam. But the, the, the basic gist of it is you are buying not a picture. You're buying the link to right now just pictures on the internet and you get sole ownership of that link. Does it mean that that picture belongs to you? No, not really. You own the link and you can't stop people from copying and pasting it. But you can be the proud owner of an IPFS link. Is that worth several thousand dollars? You tell me. You know, I still couldn't get my head around NFTs. I'm, I'm going really to be honest with you. <laughs> there the are videos is... out there that explain it a lot better than I ever could. And it still doesn't make it make sense. I, I can assure you. It's just, it's just silliness. Absolute mm. silliness. Well, I guess that really calls up the end of this, this podcast. I mean, there's, there's nothing, like you said, I know we, have, we didn't do a podcast last week. It's because mm. we were kind of waiting for the Apple event because we just kind of felt everything went a bit quiet mm-hmm. because everybody was, was waiting for it. I think the only exciting thing for me was the, the NASA space launch, but that didn't quite happen. Um, and they've got mood-changing refrigerator doors, which is... That's the future. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> you know, if, if if let's say a family member gets really angry with me and I walk into the kitchen and it's red, I mean, maybe, yeah, maybe it might work. I don't know. Um, but yeah. Oh, and before we go off, if you use TikTok on your Android app, please update it because there's a severe exploit. And these are for anybody that uses TikTok. Talking to you, Ben. Yes. Yes, Ben. We we're talking about Ben and his TikTok video. Not that he has any, but maybe we should record <laughs> a TikTok of him going into the River Thames. Yeah. Find out next week if we actually did that. Yeah. Awesome. Anyway, no, thank you. Thank you for listening. It's been a, it's been a blast for sure. Uh, we hope that you found it useful in terms of us going over the Apple event and what we thought of it. We will cover the Google event when that happens in, in October, but we will be definitely back next week. And, uh, but no, thank you. And thank you, Javid. Uh, it's, it's great to have this, uh, this amazing chat about tech with you. I mean, yeah. yeah. It's been great. And uh, well, once, once I do get hold of the new iPhone and the, and the ultra, the ultra, ultra. it's all right, the ultra. Yeah. Um, then we'll, we'll obviously discuss it more, 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 more of it in person, but, I don't know. I'm finding love again for foldables, even though I said I, I, I went back to a normal slab. But I'm now touching the foldable <laughs> and I feel like going to um, going to uh, the foldable again. But yeah, I'll chat to everybody soon. And uh, no, thank you for listening to the podcast. Bye, everybody. Later.